Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I'd like to thank everyone for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out. It does help my channel, but more importantly, it helps to circulate the video so that others who need to see these messages can access them. I want to remind you all that it is a general reading, uh, although it may resonate completely for some of you. It's not going to do so for all of you. So take the messages that do resonate for you. Those are yours. Leave the rest behind for everybody else. Now, we're working on um, numbers that are repetitive. They keep repeating in your world, okay? And I just allowed Spirit to guide me to whatever three numbers that Spirit wanted us to deal with today. And so what we have is 911 which is all about a big personal transformation. And we're gonna go deeper into that, obviously, with the cards, the reading. Now, 55 is what came out of the deck, but Spirit wanted this one with it because 55 and 555 basically mean the same things just on a larger scale, okay? So 55 is big changes, 555 is life-altering changes. So this would be a tower moment, okay? So, next we have 1113, which is divine guidance that you've requested. Now, you can choose to watch the reading for one of these numbers. You can choose to watch for all of them. If you've been seeing all of them, <laughs> have at her, because there's probably messages throughout all three of these for you, okay? Um, I think that's everything. We're going to start with the big changes and the life-altering changes. So I'll take these two down for now. And we're going to start with the Wisdom Seekers Tarot deck. Just so you're aware, all the decks that I'm using here will be listed below, okay? Click on the title of this video. That will drop down my description box, and that's where you'll see the listing of the decks. Your first card out is the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, new beginning. 55 big changes, 555 life-altering changes. Absolutely. This is something coming to a close, so something new can begin. I know I'm about to have a tower moment when I start seeing 555 continuously on the clock or, you know, on a license plate or I see, um, I just was going to say on the clock again, but I know it's bringing a tower moment to me. And isn't it interesting in this deck that the Ace of Pentacles, oh my goodness, just went crashing to the floor like a tower moment. But isn't it interesting that this deck, the Ace of Pentacles, is a tower and that's the card that came up, one of the cards that came up for 55 or 555. So if you're seeing 55, this is going to be the same message for you that it is for 555, okay? Except maybe not as intense, okay? So it would not likely be a tower moment for you if you're just seeing 55. It's just going to be a new beginning in some area of your life, okay? Because I'll put this over here. The next card out, ooh, Ten of Cups. This, whatever this is, okay, 55, big changes. This obviously is going to be something that's going to make you so happy. This is going to thrill you, okay? 555 people, the tower moment, let it crumble, let it fall, jump, whatever you have to do, do it because in doing so, it's going to take you to that next level of emotional fulfillment. The tower isn't always a bad tower. And here I am talking about the tower and we don't have one. But the tower is not a, a bad, always a bad thing. Yes, sometimes it usually actually does turn your world upside down. But not always in a bad way. Sometimes it's just something that's so unexpected and so shocking that you're just shaking your head, you can't believe it's happening, but in a good way. And that's what it's going to be for those of you that are seeing 555 
or 55 at this point in time, it's a good thing coming in. This newness is going to be amazing. Yeah, three of pentacles. This is all about your growth. It's about you're supported as well. Don't forget that. This means you are supported. Now, this could be by other people. It could be friends, family, co-workers, lovers, spirit. But you're supported in this shift, this, this elevation. Whatever this is for you, you are supported. Okay? Three of Swords. Some of you may suffer heartbreak in order to, to get to this place. But I think the heartbreak is over. I think this means that my feeling anyways is that there will be no more heartbreak. This is not going to be... Because usually the tower, when it comes in for people that are seeing 555, as you know from past experiences, the tower tended on the ascension path to be something negative, something heartbreaking. Not this one. Not this one. Bottom of this deck now, part of your overall energy, is the Empress. Yes, you are birthing something brand new. This is, like I said, growth. This is moving to that next level, everyone. Whether it's a little step up or a giant leap that I'm hearing for all mankind. So some of you, if you're chosen ones, I've got chosen one videos if you want to check them out, if you want to know if you are a chosen one. But if you are a chosen one and you're seeing 555, this is going to be for the betterment of all, not just you. This is going to be a biggie, okay? If you're not a chosen one, it's still going to be a big one if you're seeing 555. This is going to be huge in your life. Those of you that are seeing 55, it is going to be a very welcomed change doesn't matter who you are, what number you're seeing, you all are going to have emotional fulfillment from this. Some of you on a, a you know, more gargantuan scale is what I'm hearing, <laughs> but still very, very, very good. Okay, now we're going to get Gaia Oracle cards. Spirit is taking me back to the Empress card and wants me to let you know that this isn't just a rebirth. It's not a new you coming through. This is you up leveling, some of you, to Empress status. Empress is above all the queens. The only thing above Empress is the High Priestess. High Priest, this is not strictly for the feminine. It's this is feminine energy, right? So this could be representative of um, male or female, but it's if it's male, it's for those of you that are in your, you know, more into your feminine energy than your masculine, okay? But it is it is up leveling. You will be above the queens at this point. You will be all of the queens combined in one energy. That is such a cool message. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, Gaia Oracle. Oof. Lost love, surrender, healing, and release. Some of you, I feel, have been suffering about a lost love. Previous Three of Swords taking place. Previous heartbreak. Maybe you're still in that heartbreak feel. But this is on top of the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So this lost love, some of you could actually be going through a breakup or about to go through a breakup. Now, please don't take this as, as something that's trying to tell you to break up with somebody that you're with. This will be someone that's just teetering over the edge, you know? You've been thinking about it. You kind of know that that's what needs to be done for your happiness. Because, like I said, it sits on top of the Ace of Pentacles, which is all about the change, the new beginning, 
a possible tower moment, but it takes you to the Ten of Cups. Maybe you thought that you lost someone. Maybe you thought it was an ending, but it bounces back as the Ten of Cups. Okay. I want to point out that the end of this row is two threes. 33 is very much an ascended master's number. So you are being guided in a huge way. You're being guided, you're being protected, you're being taken care of, you're being healed. And this could be this, this new beginning is after this breakup. So those of you that, that needed a breakup, it's already taken place. And it's what was the catalyst to this new beginning, taking you to sheer bliss, emotional bliss. Okay. So now on the Ten of Cups and the Three of Pentacles, you've got harmony, power, self-confidence, productivity. Yeah, that tower moment, that change, that shift, new beginning. It's bringing harmony, balance happiness, love into your world, and you're able to be productive. And that's what the Three of Pentacles talks about. It's about more than one individual wanting to work toward the same successful goal. You are supported, like I said, people, spirit, whoever, you're supported. And it's, it's allowing the productivity. So on the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Swords, you've got the dream, Something is revealed, insight, breakthrough. So around the Three of Swords, around the heartbreak, around the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Swords, something is revealed. And look at it, it's a full moon. This is going to come to you from spirit. And I think that that's taking us back to the Three of Pentacles, that support from spirit. And the fact that these two cards are 33, Ascended Master's number, you've got some information, some um, messages coming through spiritually, intuitively, and revealing something to you. And it's going to be a very big aha moment for you i'm hearing it's going to be an epiphany and again it's going to be different for all of you right because <clears throat> we just can't all be at the same place at the same time okay what are we getting next angels hmm. i have not used this deck in quite a while this is the heal yourself deck cycles yeah we all know about the cycles and it's number six six represents love including self-love now this sits on top of lost love and harmony this is a cycle a cycle that needed to close out so that a new cycle can begin again it takes us back to a tower moment the world card even, but it sits right below the Ten of Cups and is in line this way with the Ace of Pentacles and the Lost Love. Whatever this is for you, it had to happen. It was the closing out of a cycle because you now are up-leveling into Empress status. Now, in Harmony in the Dream, you've got Unleash Your Creativity. And isn't that interesting? Because you've got Productivity on this card. I thought you had Creativity, but you don't. But still, Unleash Your Creativity. Allow yourself to be wild and free-spirited. Do what you love to do. Be who you want to be. 
But another reason to get creative, and I want to point out that this card sits right below the Three of Pentacles. It is a form of meditation. So it could be that in being creative, also I'm hearing non-action. This is a time of non-action right now. It's a time of maybe doing some healing, going within, being open and ready to receive the messages that are coming to you because you do have this, look at this, is in line with the dream, which is where something is going to be revealed to you. When we get creative, and, and I truly mean creative, where you're working on something, a hobby, a craft, uh, writing songs, drawing, painting, coloring, whatever it is you do that you love to do, where time gets away from you, you know, 15 minutes feels like 15 minutes, but it's been two hours or four hours or whatever. Get involved in those things right now. Things that make you happy and make you focus intently on it. Because that is a form of meditation and that is one way to set yourself up to being in the receiving mode of spiritual guidance or intuitive guidance. And healing yourself from whatever took place with this cycle change. Okay. What are we getting now? Okay. Power of surrender. We're going to see if there's something that you need to surrender to here. Surrender to the magic of who you are. That's all part of the creativity too. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that come from just being you. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. Just be you. I like that. That works. Totally works with your reading. And it sits right beneath harmony. You're going to find balance and harmony in your life when you can just be you. Do what you want. Be what you want. Say what you want. Go where you want. Okay, I want to get a Divine Doors card for you. This is going to be a message for you from Spirit. Um, I want to point out, I'm being brought back to the Ten of Cups here. And it is about emotional fulfillment. It's about happiness. It's about moving to a place that will allow and create more happiness for you. There is no definite what part of your life that's going to happen in because it's different for everybody. Some of you, it is going to be about love. Others of you, it's going to be about career. Maybe you're, you're changing homes, you know, it, it's, it's going to be something different for everybody because there's just way too many people here. So, your Divine Door card. This is your door. You're going to like the message on the back. <laughs> Isn't that a beautiful door? It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, what it says is, Destiny. One door closes, another opens for you. Let the plans of destiny unravel true. Wow. It couldn't be a more perfect message for you for this reading. Because that is exactly what the message was to begin with. 
this shift is closing a door. You've got a cycle card. You've got the Empress about rebirthing. You've got a brand new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles. It is absolutely about an ending so there can be a new beginning. I like that very much. Very, very much. Okay, let's get an Island Time Wellness card. Interesting. Karmic relationship. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Some of you it is about a relationship that ended or is ending. But again, you already know that it's not good. You already know that it's probably supposed to end. Okay. Please, if you're in a good relationship right now, don't start thinking, oh my God, this needs to be over because it's that's not what it's about. You likely have already left because this reading starts with the Ace of Pentacles, the new beginning, okay? And the lost love comes down underneath that, which says that that lost love created a new beginning and is moving you toward a happier place. Wow, I really like this. This was such a beautiful reading. Okay, that was for 55 and 555. We are now going to move into uh, 1113. Okay, everyone. Everyone that's here for 1113, welcome. We are going to get some. Oh boy, this deck is, too, I don't know what it is, but it's so hard to shuffle that way. I think it's because the cards are so skinny. They're tall enough, but they're so skinny. Anyways, this is the Wisdom Seekers deck. All the decks are listed below in the description box. Click on the title of the video. It will drop the description box down and there you will see the decks. Okay, so like I said earlier, 1113, divine guidance as requested. So you have asked for help from your angels, spirit, God, the universe, whatever you want to call it. And when you see 1113, it means that the divine guidance, your prayer has been heard and they are guiding you. Okay, it is happening. So let's see what more information we get. First card out. Four of Wands. Nice. That is a great way to start the reading. This is all about your foundation. It's all about the strength of structure I'm hearing. Your emotional, mental, physical structure. What you can and cannot handle. And if you notice, it almost looks like this is like a volcano that is erupting at the top but you're okay. And I want to point out that three of the wands are wrapped in a red ribbon. Three of wands is all about that proverbial ship coming in. You're waiting. You know, you've, you've sent out the ship and now you're waiting to see what comes back. And the ace of wands, that is all about following your passion. It's about brand new beginnings and following your passion. Okay, and the second card you have, nice, Nine of Wands. I love the artwork in this deck. Nothing looks hazardous. Now, the Nine of Wands, <clears throat> it's, it's beautiful in this deck, but it's all about spirit wanting you to persevere, okay? So the guidance that, that you're asking for in order to move you towards something that you're really wanting Keep moving forward. Persevere. 
Yes, you've been trying for a long time. Maybe you've been wanting it for what seems like forever and it just hasn't come to fruition. And you've taken eight long, arduous steps that at times felt brutal to get to the outcome that you want or the goal that you want. That ninth wand is your goal. You're one step away from complete fulfillment. So keep going. Be strong, stand tall, and keep moving, okay? <laughs> Just from this card, we have now the Ace of Wands. Follow your passion. Don't stop. Don't let go of that. In other words, follow your, your desires. Follow your dreams. Go after them. This is all about that brand new beginning, and it's going to be a very passionate one, one that, that feeds your soul. So whatever this is for you, you're being guided to it. I just want to turn these a bit here. Make sure you can still see them. Yes, good. Okay. Oh my goodness. Now you have judgment. Something is coming back to life. Something. Something that you believed to be dead and gone. Not literally dead, but you know, over and gone forever is about to come back. This is the universe. This is the divine guidance that you've requested. The universe is bringing something back around for a second go because it didn't work out the first time. But it's coming back. You're getting a second chance. You're getting a do-over. That is the guidance. Okay, they're guiding you to that do-over. Bottom of the deck, part of your overall energy, the magician. You have been manifesting this all along, but you also have manifested <clears throat> the guidance, the help, okay? You have inside you what it takes to make this work. You have everything you need, everything. Raise the bar. See how he's raised the table? magically and i'm hearing raise the bar that's for somebody it's going to mean something for one of you if not more okay now we're going to get a gaia oracle card cards a few of them So basically, so far, your guidance is work on your home. This is, Four of Wands is also the home life. It's a happy home life. But so you could be moving to a new home and maybe that's what's going to move you in the direction that you want to go in. Moving, I know that's what's happening with me. I'm having to move shortly and I know from my guides um, messages that it's what's going to allow me to step into that next phase of a higher level of joy and that could be the same for you because you've got these these wands separated right into the three of wands and the ace of wands so wait for the right timing This is not about you taking action right now. Just keep moving forward, right? I mean, you don't sit on your butt and not go anywhere or do anything, but there's no really there's no real work involved for you yet because you've asked for the guidance and they are working behind the scenes for you. They are guiding you. So just wait for the right time is the three of wands in my mind because the, the brand new beginning is on its way. Just keep moving forward. Persevere. Don't, don't change direction now. Don't stop doing what you've been doing. Keep moving forward because you are being guided to that brand new beginning. And it is going to be exactly what you've wanted. Something that you thought could never be. Something you thought was over. You're going to be gifted with a brand new beginning or a do-over in that. Okay.
you have winter's end regeneration rebirth positive outcome yeah see <laughs> maybe at the end of winter now some of you are just coming out of winter some of you are just going into winter so depending on where you're at but it doesn't necessarily mean it's a timing card either this this moving forward this just continuing on the way you have is maybe it's just going to move you out of that darkness that you feel that you're in some of you i feel like you're in a, a it, it feels like winter because it feels like a really dark and emotionally cold place to be but try to find something to be happy about try to stay positive wait for the right timing for that new beginning because that new beginning shows up right here right so just keep moving forward because doing what you're already doing is going to take you to that new beginning whether you realize it or not it might not feel like it might not look like it but you are constantly manifesting this you have manifested this it's just waiting for you to catch up to it okay now you've got yin yang creating harmony through balance isn't it interesting wow you have an amazing new beginning coming because i just came to the realization that in the four of wands you have the ace of wands separated in the nine of wands in the context of the message you have the ace of wands separated because spirit is saying you've carried eight wands you've done the work of eight wands you've only got one wand left ace of wands ace of wands and here it is isn't that interesting hmm. anyways <laughs> So, creating harmony through balance. That sits on the Nine of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Remain centered. Oh, sorry. Try to remain centered like she looks like she is. She's got positive thoughts. She's happy. She's balanced. She's centered. She's meditating. Maybe that's what Spirit's asking you to do, is do a little bit of meditating. This new beginning is going to create harmony and balance in your life. Coming out of this, continuing to move forward and coming out of this Nine of Wands situation, when you do make that final step and reach your goal, which is right here, you will sense the harmony and the balance from that shift now on top of the ace of wands and the judgment card ooh, sacred earth mother wow a message of love <laughs> you have <clears throat> oh, okay for for a lot of you this could be a past love someone that you have been thinking about for a long time maybe it never did come to fruition in the past and you just nine of wands you just keep believing and moving toward it and look at there it is and here's where the message comes in you getting that message is the realization that you've got to do over you're getting a second chance here this could be love of any kind too keep in mind this could be a true, strong, large connection, bigger than you've ever known with your in intuitive side, with your inner guidance system, your soul, spirit. It could be you gaining self-love. It could be, like I said, a past love coming through for you. Okay, let's get another synchronicity oracle card for you, which is what this is here. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. I wasn't going to go with this deck. And then I felt a nudge. 1111. Okay, so if you've been seeing 1111, here's what it means. Twin Flame Union is close. This sacred earth mother, for a lot of you, could be a twin flame. And that makes sense with what's up here. Because it can be quite the task to come together in that twin flame union. We're getting another one. Oh, okay, cool. My son decided to join us. This is my son. This is my deck, actually. Um, it's going to bring peace. You are headed for peace, inner peace, peace in your life. This is right on top of harmony and balance and sacred earth mother. This is going to bring so much peace in your life and contentment and love, not to mention all the other things that are going to come with it. That's just the beginning. Wow. Okay, we're going to get an Island Time Wellness card. Oh my God, this came out. I don't know if you watched the 55, 555 numbers reading, but this was in the same position in that reading. Karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, fleeting, I don't know if fleeting's on its own. Anyways, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Some of you had to let go or have to let go of a karmic relationship in order to have your twin flame. Some of you are in a karmic relationship that you thought was your twin flame relationship. But again, don't take this reading to, to mean that you're being asked to release a partner, okay? You already know it's not working. If this is your message, you're already aware of it. Spirit is not going to give you that kind of a message out of the blue in a reading like this. You will have had several nudges before this reading. Okay? So if you're happy in a relationship, this part of it isn't for you. Okay? Okay, now I want to get... A divine door card for you. This is going to be a message for you from Spirit. Okay, <laughs> you have an absolutely beautiful door that's gorgeous okay now what's on the back for you from spirit is trust the universe intuition has wandered and led you astray the timing's not yours but the universe at play have faith and breathe oh that makes so much sense with your reading you know, we've got that Three of Wands message up here. Just wait for the right time. And that's what this is saying. Timing is not yours. It's, it's the universe because you've asked for the guidance. And they're setting it up. And timing, timing is about you being ready, the other person being ready. Um, anything that you're asking for. You know, if you want a new place to live or a new job, it has to be ready for you. I had um, a client once that her message, her guidance was to take a specific job 
even though she knew it wasn't right for her at the time, because it was going to be a stepping stone to the right job, right? Because the right job for her, she needed a job right then. She needed to make money, but her job, her perfect position wasn't ready for her yet. It wasn't open yet. So she had to take on a job that she wouldn't be crazy about, that she wouldn't want to stay in for too long because they wanted her to want to leave that job when her true position became available six or seven months down the road. And that's how spirit will work. Trust. Trust the forward movement. Okay, now because we've got something in here about soulmates and relationships, I want to get a card here. <clears throat> this is the Manifest Soulmate Oracle deck. This is going to be a message about or from your soulmate, okay? Oh my God, you are on your way to meeting your true love. Oh my goodness. This is your true love. Like I said, I think some of you have just, just got out of a karmic relationship or your person. This could be your, your twin because this sits on the twin flame card. They could be leaving a karmic relationship and that's what allows this to come back around. Or maybe they just got out of it. And the universe is setting all of this up so that they can get them to make their way to you because this says you're on your way to meeting your true love. I feel like this is going to be a serendipitous moment for you. Like you're both going to be guided to go to the same place at the same time. <laughs> and one of those things. It feels pretty cool though. Wow. Okay. I hope this resonates for you. I hope it helps. I am moving on now to number 911. Hello everyone. Welcome to 911. This is all about a big personal transformation. You know, Spirit chose these cards and it's interesting to me that they all basically oh, are about transformation. 55 and 555, it's all about big changes. 1113 is about being divinely guided into the direction or towards a goal that you've been wanting and big personal transformation. Kind of the same idea. Okay, here we go. This is the Wisdom Seekers Tarot deck. All the decks are listed below. Click on the title to drop down the description box and all the decks will be listed there. Ooh, your first card out, Queen of Cups. You could be up leveling, your transformation could be that you're up leveling intuitively, psychically, gaining stronger psychic abilities and in intuitive abilities. We'll find out as we go because we're obviously going to get more cards. Oh my goodness, look at this. Nine of Cups. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. All three of these readings so far, they've all been energetically felt amazing. You are granted a wish. <laughs> and it could have something to do with the justice system, the court system. You could be getting married. Maybe your divorce is going through. Who knows? Whatever it is you've been wishing for. This could also be a person. This would be a Libra. But I generally, in my readings, I use the people cards as people. This could be about balance. I feel like this, this is, for a lot of you, this has to do with a relationship and it's about marriage, but it could be, you know, again, the court system, right? 
it, it, or the justice system, its laws, its, I, I, I'm just, I'm gone blank here, but I'm hearing for some of you, it could be the purchase of a home because there are, it's about the legal system. Thank you, angels. It's not just the court system. It's the legal system. It's about justice. It's about doing everything by the book and everything being worked out fairly. So this could be a court case that you've been going through and you are being granted a wish and it is going to turn out in your favor. It could be about buying a home because that's in the legal system. You know, you've got to do the paperwork. It's got to be done legally. It could be a divorce. It could be getting married. Could be you're getting a job in the justice system. Ooh, the high priestess. Wow. You've got some really nice cards here. Holy cow. Whew, things coming to light. The high priestess is all about secrets, but intuity, intuity, intuition brings things to light. And I find it interesting that you've got flanking your wish granted card and the justice card. You've got two cards that speak to you about intuition and up leveling a greater psychic ability. You are shifting from the Queen of Cups to the High Priestess as far as intuition and psychic abilities go. That's quite the jump. Quite the jump. Interesting. I want to know what this Justice card is all about. Bottom of the deck, part of your overall energy is Nine of Wands. You have persevered. You are to persevere. But I feel the message that came through right away with that is you have persevered. Because you've persevered, you have this, this wish that's been granted. You worked hard. You've been through the trenches. You have, it's been brutal at times. I know it has. But you're here. You made it. And look where you are. You're growing from the Queen of Cups to the High Priestess. Things are finally going to start working in your favor. Dreams are going to start coming true for you. That is your big personal transformation. This transformation is this right here. Uh, buckle up because <laughs> this looks and feels like quite the ride. Oh my goodness. And I'm happy to say I've been seeing 9112 a lot lately. All the numbers actually I've been seeing lately. So we are all connected. Like we already know. Okay, now we're going to get Gaia Oracle cards for you. And on the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Cups, you've got Flame Tree. The start of something new, something very, very passionate, something that you are going to be feeding your soul with in a big, big way. And that means happiness, huge, huge happiness, bliss, joy. You are following your passion. You are moving toward your passion. Wow. This is big. This is really big. Wish fulfillment. That's what you're doing. You're moving toward all, like I said, all your dreams coming true. And it's going to feed your, everything that you're moving toward are things that you've been wanting to manifest, things that you've been asking for. You are being gifted with them. And the reason you asked for them is because it's what your soul wanted. So you are feeding your soul with these things when they come in, these granted wishes. Nine of Cups and Justice, you have achievement. Keep focused on your dream. You are going to achieve this. This is amazing. Now this sits on 
wish fulfillment and justice. So like I said, things are finally going your way. Whatever this means for you, marriage, divorce, new home, new career, it is wish fulfillment no matter how you look at it. And you are achieving it. <clears throat> now on top of the justice and the high priestess, <laughs> you have the dream. I can't make this up. Something is revealed. Insight, breakthrough. Yeah, no kidding. With the high priestess there? Secrets becoming revealed. Secrets being revealed. Breakthroughs. Aha moments. This card was in one of the other readings. I believe it was 1113. Holy cow. Holy cow. Okay, now we're going to get a synchron couple of Synchronicity Oracle cards. So on the flame tree and achievement, this is no surprise. Moving into 5D. Okay, 5D, if it's something you're un unaware of. 5D is just basically intuition, moving through life using your intuition. And the fact that you've got the Queen of Cups shifting to the uh, High Priestess. Yeah, obviously. You are going to be growing and transforming so much, so drastically in, in the way of your abilities intuitively and psychically that you absolutely are going to be able to move through your life by way of intuitive wisdom rather than your ego, rather than your own human thoughts moving you forward based on what everybody else is doing and what's expected of you. You will be making decisions based on what your intuition is guiding you to do. But you're going to be able to do it. You're not going to have problems doing it because that is your personal transformation at this point in time. You will be moving towards your passion. You will be achieving things. You will be <laughs> emotionally fulfilled in all ways because of this. Oh boy. On top of achievement and the dream and right below... <laughs> the justice card, which could represent marriage, you have long-term relationship card. Some of you have a long-term relationship that you're in that's going to move to the next level of being engaged or married. Some of you have been in a long-term relationship. Now again, please do not take this to mean you need to leave. Spirit is telling you it's time to get out of this relationship. This is a relationship that has not been good for a long time. You're aware that you're not happy, okay? So this could be a long-term relationship that you've been in that you're not happy in, haven't been for a long time, and you're finally make, taking that step to divorce. Maybe you've been separated for a long time and didn't take the step to get divorced, and you're about to, and it's going to give you the freedom, or at least that feeling the energy of freedom. But I feel for more, more of you, it's about a long-term relationship that you're either getting into that's going to end up in marriage or you're in a long-term relationship and you're taking it to the next level by getting married. Congrats. <laughs> I am so happy that these, these readings are good energy. They all have been amazing energy. Okay, now we're going to get an Island Time Wellness card. And the last two readings had the same card here. So let's see if you get it too. Mm. 
Nope. Talking, interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives. Oh my goodness. Text, call, email, and hoovering, okay, which means being sucked in. That, I don't even know why that's on this card because it, it, I never get the message that that's what this is all about. But I want to point out Something is revealed. You have an insight or a breakthrough, and that is in line with the high priestess. And it's in regards to this long-term relationship because it's in line with the two cards. Now, this sits on top of the long-term relationship and therefore is in line with all of these. You have a message coming to you from somebody about this long-term relationship. Either you're going to be asked to marry someone or you're going to be courted. Which goes with the justice card. It's all about court, right? Courting, being courted, swept off your feet. This sits right beneath the achievement card, which is in, you know, touching the wish granted card and the justice card. Interesting. Okay, now I want to get a Divine Doors card for you. This is going to be a message for you from the Divine. I got to tell you guys, I have been sitting here in a bliss hit <laughs> for most of your reading. It's such a high. It is such a high. And this is what you've got coming your way. This incredible, happy, oh, it's like, you know, the brightest, sunniest, warmest, most beautiful day at the beach. And it's just you and your thoughts. And you can hear the ocean and the birds. And it's just such an incredible feeling. Well, finally, a new door. I've been wanting new doors to come out so I can see what the message on the back is. This has not come out yet. This is your door. And I'm amazed at the message on the back. It's perfect for your big personal transformation card here. It says, change beckons. The path is shifting. The road leads a new way. Do not be alarmed as change beckons today. Wow. <laughs> I'm blown away. Actually, all of these readings, I am so impressed with my guides, with my angels. Okay, now since this is, seems to be about a relationship, I want to get a card for you from the Manifest Soulmate Oracle deck. This is going to be a message to you from your soulmate or about your soulmate, okay? Hmm. And where does the power come from? It comes from within. Dragon, I got to tell you, I just did a Chosen Ones video again for the numbers 999 because I've been seeing it and I was guided to put it out for the Chosen Ones. If you haven't watched that yet, you might want to watch it because again, I've been seeing things about dragons and there was information in that reading about one of the cards that came up was dragon horde. So I don't know if dragons have a meaning for any of you also other than just the, the number 911. But if, it, if dragons do, you might want to take a look at that uh, chosen ones, especially if you've been seeing 999. Wow, this... I am so grateful that this was brought to me. This idea for this reading was brought to me because it's not the normal pick a card reading, but it, it took me to such a beautiful place, all three of these readings. I'm just sitting here in such intense, beautiful energy. I hope you can feel it. And I know for a fact 
that if you're not feeling it right now, when you move through this transformation, this is what you will be feeling. And I got to tell you, it's pretty amazing. So like this says, the path is shifting. The road leads a new way. Don't be alarmed. The change is going to bring you to such an amazing place. It's, it's just unbelievably, unbelievably beautiful. Whew. I hope this resonated. I hope it helped. I love you guys and I will see you next time.